Madison Di Rosario is a Paralympic champion. She races with her wheelchair. She is from Australia. Madison has won many medals. She is a very strong athlete. Madison went to the Paralympics in Paris. She was ready to race her best. She was excited to represent her country. Madison is a true inspiration. The Paralympics started with a sad day for Madison. The air was filled with excitement and anticipation. But for Madison, it was a day of sorrow. She learned her father had died. The news came as a shock, a heavy blow that left her feeling numb and disoriented. It was the day of the opening ceremony. Madison was heartbroken. Tears streamed down her face as she tried to process the devastating news. She thought about going home. The idea of being with her family during this difficult time was overwhelming. She felt a strong pull to leave everything behind and be with her loved ones. She wanted to be with her family. The thought of not being there to support her mother and siblings was almost unbearable. She looked at a photo of her family, feeling a deep sense of longing and sadness. But Madison knew her father would want her to race. He had always been her biggest supporter, encouraging her to pursue her dreams no matter what. She remembered his words of wisdom and strength. She decided to stay in Paris. Despite the pain and heartache, Madison chose to honor her father's memory by competing in the Paralympics. She knew it was what he would have wanted, and she was determined to make him proud. Madison threw herself into her training, using her grief as fuel to push harder and go further. Every stride, every push, every moment of effort was dedicated to her father. She found solace in the beauty of Paris, taking moments to reflect by the Seine River. The city, with its rich history and vibrant culture, became a source of comfort and inspiration for her. Her teammates rallied around her, offering support and encouragement. They became her second family, helping her navigate through the emotional turmoil and stay focused on her goals. As the competition began, Madison channeled her emotions into her performance. She competed with a fierce determination, driven by the desire to honor her father's legacy. When she crossed the finish line, tears of joy and sorrow mingled on her face. She had done it. She had honored her father in the best way she knew how. Holding her medal, Madison looked up at the sky, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. She knew her father was watching over her, proud of her strength and resilience. Surrounded by her teammates, Madison shared a moment of triumph and remembrance. It was a bittersweet victory, but one that she would cherish forever. Reflecting on her journey, Madison found peace in her decision to stay and compete. She had faced one of the hardest moments of her life and emerged stronger, carrying her father's spirit with her every step of the way. No, you've been a good friend. Madison's family was far away, but she was not alone. Her teammates were there for her. They gave her hugs and kind words. They helped her feel strong. The Australian team became like a second family. They supported Madison through her grief. They showed her the true meaning of teamwork. The day of the marathon arrived. The air was filled with anticipation and excitement. Athletes from all walks of life gathered at the starting line, each with their own story, their own reason for being there. The energy was palpable and the crowd's cheers echoed through the streets. It was a big day for Madison. She had trained for months, pushing her body and mind to the limit. Every early morning run, every late night workout had led to this moment. Her heart raced with a mix of nerves and determination as she adjusted her racing wheelchair, making sure everything was perfect. She was ready to race for her father. He had always been her biggest supporter, her rock. Even though he was no longer physically present, she felt his spirit with her, guiding her, encouraging her. The memory of his unwavering belief in her abilities fueled her resolve. She knew he was watching over her. Madison took a deep breath, looking up at the sky, silently dedicating this race to him. Her family stood by the sidelines, their faces a mix of pride and emotion. They knew how much this race meant to her, and their support was a source of strength. The marathon was long and hard. The sun was hot, beating down on the athletes as they pushed through the miles. 
the heat was relentless, adding an extra layer of challenge to an already grueling race. But Madison was undeterred. She had faced tougher battles before, and she was determined to see this through. Madison pushed herself to the limit. Every muscle in her body screamed in protest, but she ignored the pain. She focused on her breathing, on the rhythm of her movements. She had a goal, and nothing was going to stop her from reaching it. The crowd's cheers grew louder, urging her on. She thought of her father's strength. He had faced his own battles with courage and resilience, never giving up no matter how tough things got. His example was a beacon of hope for her, a reminder that she too could overcome any obstacle. She drew strength from his memory, letting it propel her forward. It helped her keep going. With every push of her wheels, she felt closer to him, as if he were right there beside her, cheering her on. The finish line was in sight, and Madison knew she had the strength to cross it. This race was more than just a test of endurance. It was a tribute to the bond between a father and his daughter, a testament to the power of love and determination. Section 5. Crossing the finish line. This is the moment every athlete dreams of, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and perseverance. For Madison de Rosario, this moment was the pinnacle of her athletic career. Madison crossed the finish line with grace and determination, her wheelchair gliding smoothly over the track. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices a symphony of support and admiration. She had given everything she had, leaving nothing behind. She had won the silver medal. This was not just a piece of metal, it was a testament to her resilience and strength. Every training session, every sacrifice, every moment of doubt had led to this triumph. The silver medal shone brightly, reflecting the light of her achievement. It was an amazing achievement. The medal ceremony was a celebration of not just her victory, but the victories of all the athletes who had overcome their own personal battles to be there. The air was thick with emotion, a palpable sense of camaraderie and respect. She raised her arms in victory, a gesture that spoke volumes. It was a moment of pure, unadulterated joy. The crowd's applause was deafening, a wave of sound that washed over her, affirming her success. Tears streamed down her face, each drop a testament to the emotional journey she had undertaken. These were not just tears of joy, but also of relief, of release. The weight of her journey, the highs and lows, all culminated in this singular moment. It was a moment of triumph and heartbreak. Triumph for the victory she had achieved, heartbreak for the sacrifices made along the way. The journey to the Paralympics is never easy, and Madison's path had been fraught with challenges. Madison had made her father proud. In the stands, her family watched with bated breath, their hearts swelling with pride. They had been her rock, her unwavering support system. Their joy was a reflection of her own, a shared celebration of her success. She wished he could be there to celebrate with her. Her father had always been her biggest supporter, and in this moment of triumph, she felt his absence keenly. But she knew he was watching, cheering her on from afar, his spirit intertwined with her victory. Section 6. A Father's Legacy Madison's father was her biggest fan. He always encouraged her. He taught her to never give up. He was her inspiration. Madison's medal was for her father. It was a symbol of their bond. She knew he would always be with her, in her heart and in her racing. Section 7. Finding Strength in Grief Madison's story is about courage, it's about finding strength in sadness. She showed the world what it means to be a true champion. She turned her grief into power. She honored her father in the best way possible by achieving her dreams on the world stage. Section eight, looking towards the future. Madison will keep racing. She will keep winning medals. She will keep inspiring others. She is a true role model. Madison's journey is far from over. She has many more races to win, and she will face every challenge with the same strength and determination. Section 9. An Inspiration to All 
Madison de Rosario teaches us to never give up. She teaches us to find strength in difficult times. She teaches us to follow our dreams. Thank you, Madison, for inspiring us all.